Hi everybody, it's Lady Dre, 1977, and I wanted to come, excuse me as I try to adjust my phone, I wanted to come and talk about toxic people. I, I made a video in the past about uh, letting go, knowing when to let go of toxic friends and family. And this has been on my mind for a while, so I'm just really speaking off the cuff about toxic people in general. I've made videos, um, a few videos on narcissism, um, boundaries, and under, you know, just a few, again, off the cuff videos talking about uh, narcissists. And what I wanted to talk about today is uh, I understand that everybody is not a narcissist. But you do have people who are very toxic out here. And <clears throat> I just wanted to just give some, some words of truth, some words of advice, and some words of encouragement. Dealing with toxic people can be very draining. One, because there's a spirit there and it's a spirit. Spirit. It is it's not the flesh. They're allowing themselves to be taken over by a spirit. And it could be a spirit of negativity. They've been through a lot of things. Um, they could have grown up in a family of dysfunction. Um, <clears throat> like I did. I, I was a toxic person at one time. And I just felt like because I grew up in that toxicity, I took on the toxicity myself. And when you're toxic, there is a, a spirit that uh, can overtake you. You don't see life the way other people who may have grown up in a more normal setting. You have um, jealousy there. There's jealousy. There's covetousness. Um, there's this victim mentality that, you know, you're in a situation and you can't get out. And for me, I didn't initially. It was me starting to learn about toxic people and narcissism and making the decision to just step back from dysfunction and let God lead the way. I just got to be honest. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. But that's the case with toxic people. And, and when they're toxic, you have some who don't want to get out of that toxicity. They don't find a problem with it. For some, they people can coddle them. And that's a plus for people who are toxic. They, they see the world, you know, as nothing's good in the world. There's always a complaint. There's always some type of gossip. Some of them be little people and they can be, you know, in these cliques of just people who are negative like them. They don't want to learn anything. They don't want words of advice. They don't want their situation to change because some honestly don't know how to get out of it. That's just who they are. Um, others... Um, they don't know how. For me, again, I had to distance myself from certain members of my family and I had to pray. I had to repent. I have to repent on a daily basis. I had to stay in my word, understand God's word of who I am. I'm more than a conqueror. Um, <clears throat> God doesn't give us give us a spirit of fear. What the Lord gives us is his power, his love, his strength, and self-control. I had to learn those things, and I'm still in the process of learning. Uh, my point is, no toxicity when you see it, whether it's in your family, whether it's on your job with a coworker or boss. Um, in loving relationships, 
no toxicity when you see it. If somebody is always in a mood, don't get me wrong, we all go through things. We all have our seasons when we experience trials and hardship. And for those who are believers in Christ, we are going to have them. But God is with us and he will guide us through. But there's a difference between that and when somebody is just truly toxic, always negative. They can't see the forest for the trees. They can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. They can't see the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It is just it's always negative. And that type of spirit can just bring people down. If you are feeling that way, you need to take a few steps back from that person. And in some cases, you might just need to say, I just can't deal with this person anymore. And back away. That's okay. Now, I say it's a good thing if you have a group of people that love you, you know, people who are functional, people who will tell you the truth when you're wrong. And we should get to a place, especially if we say that we're believers, where when somebody gives you criticism, that you can take it, look at yourself, get you wisdom, get you some wisdom, what you should have from God, and make adjustments. If you look at that person and what they said, and you say, you know what, that person's right. I do need to change this about me. That's one thing. When you are around people who are positive, people who can see the forest for the trees, people who can see <laughs> the light at the end of the tunnel, or people who can see the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow that that is just very helpful and it keeps you in a sane mindset if you have friends like that who are comforters and who are loving and they're not toxic and it's not this whole cult of negativity i say that you have a wonderful thing get you friends like that but please know that if you think that you could continue to be around toxic people one or two things are going to happen you're going to become toxic or over time and it's like assc direct on youtube who talks about narcissism um, he made a comment about that in one of his videos, you know, dealing with, he said, a narcissist and being around them over time, you're going to burn out. You're going to get tired of dealing with that because it's going to become too much. So I'll give an example. I left a job recently due to continued toxicity. This type, this person on my team. I worked with a narcissist, full-blown narcissist. And I agree with people when they say everybody's not a narcissist. No. Um, who, um, everybody's not a narcissist. No, but know the warning signs as well. Know the warning signs of tox toxic people and narcissists. No, this person was a full-blown narcissist. And you do burn out. You do get tired of dealing with these people because they drain you. You feel like after time, you run a marathon every day because these people can really just take a lot out of you. And if you think that you could stay around that type of person, I'm here to tell you, I wish you the best of luck. You need absolute you need to have your spiritual gear on and you can still have that on. They're still very draining people to be around. And I eventually just had to leave that environment because it was just too much, too much disrespect, too much toxicity, too much uh, unprofessionalism. And I, if I could say one thing about COVID, 
is eventually we got to work from home and I didn't have to deal with this person as much. Now this person tried um, sending emails, you know, to throw people off and I, I had to learn even still okay don't respond to this person because that's what they're looking for they, they they're looking to get a reaction and i learned to respond and take out the emotions okay so i hope that this is helpful to you all i, I know that everybody has experienced um some type of toxicity, whether it's in your family, amongst friends, people you've gone to school with, work. I know you've experienced it and it's hard. And if you think that you can beat it, you can't. The way that you beat it is to not deal with it, okay? I hope you all are having a good night where I am, a good day. And I hope to be back with another video soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.